everybody, this is Cody B here. I want to talk to you a little bit more today about the chart we put up last time, traditional marketing and relationship marketing and how they work together. And uh, if we just show the chart real quick, traditional marketing is on the left side of the chart. It's all about finding, acquiring, and managing a customer base. Relationship marketing is on the right side. It's all about retaining customers, generating incremental sales from those customers, and having those customers refer new business to you, which gives you more people to put in your pipeline. We also talked about the value proposition of relationship marketing, how strong it really is, how powerful it really is. And so if it is that good, we probably should go into detail about what a relationship marketing strategy would look like. So to do that, we're just gonna continue on with this. How do you retain customers in your customer base? How do you get them to generate incremental sales? How do you get them to refer business to you? Relationship marketing is all about relationship first about 80% of the time and then marketing second about 20% of the time. So anytime you're reaching out to your customer base, you wanna focus on relationship first most of the time and then sprinkle in a little bit of marketing. The optimum times to do that would be uh, thank yous, birthdays, holidays, recognition opportunities, time to celebrate their lifestyles, keeping in touch would get more into the marketing side, and then a, an actual marketing promotional piece. So you'll notice the chart that we have now, it talks about you know, those opportunities as they go down the list, those top four or five there are all about relationships. 80% of the time you need to be doing that. And the final piece is down at the bottom where it's more about marketing reaching out, asking for a referral maybe, uh, promoting your business or something new that you're doing. Um, those types of things you want to have sprinkled in about 20% of the time. So that is the strategy that's really important to keep that strategy. That is how you're going to optimize relationship marketing. So we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.